for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Liz Collin. A 10-year-old boy is in critical condition after he was hit by a train. It happened around 1.30 this afternoon near 44th and Bryant Avenues in North Minneapolis. Police say the boy and two friends were playing on a slow-moving train when the boy slipped and the train ran him over, severing his leg. Nina Moyni is live at the scene where rail railroad inspectors are tonight. This is just awful to hear, Nina. It is, Liz, and there are a lot of children in this area. I want to describe sort of the layout across the tracks behind me. You can see that there is a fence and just behind that fence is a Weber Park where a lot of children play on this side of the tracks though where I'm standing there's no fence it's not a secured way uh, onto the tracks there it's quite open and this is a residential street with a lot of children and homes just over here a police telling us tonight that this boy is very lucky to be alive although again you mentioned he is in critical condition we're told this started around 1.30 this afternoon. Someone had already called 911, telling police that a 13-year-old, what well, looked around 13, 12, and a 10-year-old boy were out here playing on a slow-moving train. We were told they were jumping, trying to jump on and off the train. But then we're told, of course, that 10-year-old boy accidentally slipped, and then the train did go over the boy. He lost a leg. And just as officers were arriving from Minneapolis Police and Park Police, they saw this, went over to help the boy. We're told that officers used a tourniquet to stop the bleeding. They actually went and retrieved the boy's missing limb and then rushed him and his friends over to North Memorial Hospital. We're told that's where the boy is tonight, again in critical condition with his father. Police say this is a reminder to everyone that everyone at any age should stay off railroad trains tracks. The issue is that when something does go wrong, those trains aren't able to stop. The personnel on the train likely don't even see the children. And we don't know a whole lot about the train at this point tonight, Liz. Uh, Canadian Pacific, we do know that is the company, the train company. They've had inspectors, like you mentioned, and we've seen uh, out here all night. They are still here on scene at this point. The railroad company has only told us that this was a, a mixed use, uh, mixed freight train that was going uh, very slowly through the area on its way to St. Paul. The company is saying their thoughts are with this family tonight, but they're not saying much more tonight other than that they're cooperating with Minneapolis police during this investigation and tonight we're actually going to hear from some of the neighbors here on this side of the tracks that went over to try and help the boy. We'll have more on that at 10. All right, and Nina, you mentioned that these were all friends that were out there today when this happened. Exactly. So they're not related. Uh, we're not sure who, uh, if any adults or anybody was with them, but there are a lot of adults in the area. And again, one of those uh, likely called 911 to alert authorities earlier today. All right, we'll look for more tonight at 10 o'clock. Nina, thank you.